that's what I did here. Uh, what I tried to do, this is an example. Um, uh, the questions I asked uh, before from Pat, uh, where the law has to do with coercion. Let me show you back. Where the law has to do with coercion or morals or rules, yes? This is the first page, he's going to do that. What is law? Third line. You can see here, this is the first page. This is the first page. He's quoting here five or six different definitions, all of them right or all of them wrong according to him. Yes? You have here, remember formalism, realism, you have here some definitions that are part of formalism, some definitions that are part of realism here. Yes? So you check the first page, you have already several definitions of what is law. Yes? For him, wrong. Yeah, I'll, I'll say why in a second. Um, he's going to agree with Austin again. Austin was the chair of jurisprudence in Oxford before Hull. So he's going to agree on certain points, you know. Law, yes, a set of rules or commands that are general. So law doesn't have to do with me telling Mohammed you ought to do this or you ought to do that, because if not, you are sanctioned. It's not individual, it's not Jorge ordering Mohammed to do something or not, no? It's parliament ordering all of us whether something is legal or illegal, and if it's illegal, we get punished. Am I clear? So it's general. General in terms of people, general in terms of territory, the whole of the UK. So that parliament is authority. So in that sense, there is the sovereign in principle, similar to Austin, <coughs> similar to an extent to hard. Whatever I create, I am to be law now, and in the future, it is not that I create law to be valid now. I am parliament and I create the criminal statute book today, for today only, yes? Or these people get voted out, we have a new parliament in a few years, a new composition, and we have to change all the legislation. No, it is durable, yes? We may have amendments still part of the same legislation. It is not that we change the whole legislation. Even before, when we used to have queens and kings, mighty powers, it is not that we finish with one king or queen and we had to change all the law again. Yes? Law in principle is durable. So they, these are certain elements that they find in common, Austin and Hart, in law. And many others. The thing to me that um, is more interesting Hart is going, first of all, to introduce, this is what we have now. This is my agreement. Law is general, so it's a set of rules for a certain territory to all the people in that territory. It has a certain duration. So I agree with all this, yes? In principle, they seem to be okay. However, Hart needs to write a new book. I, I, I tend to be very practical, and my uh, people, I, I mentioned this in Cambridge, one of them, they wanted to shoot me. Uh, I tend to say, uh, I tend to see her as Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Why? I mean, she's very good as an artist, but she's been very able to take elements from very, bar especially at the beginning, various musicians and combine them. To me, and people get <laughs> like this, this kind of expression, but to me, I don't put this in writing. It's going to be on the video, but I don't put this in writing. Uh, Hart was very clever in putting theories together, so definitions of law before his time. Yes, and what he's done, he sees some good <coughs> elements, but then he's going to work on some others. Yes, he's going to argue against. And I think from what I've been telling you, you may guess. When we talk about sanctions, remember Austin before, yes? We have law, a set of rules. All of them have to have a sanction, a punishment. If I don't have a punishment, I don't have law. Clear? Up to him. Hart is going to say something, wait a second, this is half of the story. And I was putting some examples in my workshops earlier. Suppose we want to get married, yes? In order for our marriage to be official, we have to go to the civil service, we have to comply with the procedure. Is that law or not to get married? Is that law or not? Yeah. It is law. I am legally married. Suppose we go to, we are going to be, as long as you are single, I am single, and we fulfill or comply with the law, we're going to be legal, that is law. What about, I think, uh, I'm, I'm going to write my will. 
and I'm going to ask witnesses, I comply with British legislation, and I'm going to sign. <coughs> yes? Is that law or no? Writing a will. No. Selling my house. Yeah. And signing a contract. Is that law? Yeah. The fact that I'm working here and I have to sign a contract, an employment contract, is that law? Yeah. In what kind of cases in this example? Employment law, writing a will or signing a will, getting married, where do I have a sanction? Where do I have a punishment? Yes? So what Hart is doing is simply observing, wait a second, law is much more that rules that have punishment. Very briefly, law is not only criminal law. <coughs> yes? If we equate or we define the law, the law as a set of rules that, or, all the story, I'm not going to, that have a punishment, I'm missing at least half of the story. I'm missing all the legal rules that do not have punishment, civil law. I'm missing all civil law rules, yes? You may claim, I even have papers, Fabio, you may claim that uh, Austin is not talking about, uh, and especially Kelsen, he's not talking about punishment, really. He's talking about sanction as a consequence. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to only uh, uh, go through half. But, but there is criticism here as well, yes? It's not that simple. But in principle, that is criticism. So law is not only duty conferring, so law is not only telling you you have to do this, if not, you go to jail, not only, but law is also giving you power, yes? That's why in law we have permissions, obligations, and prohibitions, yes? Permissions, obligations, and prohibitions. Permissions, you are allowed to, yes, that is part of the law as well. They do not have punishment, however, they are still law, yes? So what he sees, and his uh, main argument or core argument against Austin and Kelsen as well in continental Europe is, wait a second, th there is part of law, quite a big part, in which okay, the rules do not have a sanction, however, they are still law, yes? They don't have punishment, they are not duty conferring norms or rules, however, they are still class of law. So I cannot define, that's the conclusion here, he's going to bring a definition, but the conclusion, I cannot define the law by referring to punishment, by referring to sanction. <laughs> yes? Um, in my workshops I was, I was accepting every definition. Why? Because we can have a very narrow or a very broad definition. My, probably, the way I try to push you, you choose any definition. You simply have to explain me why. Do you see now why I was asking you the reasons? Yes? Because you're going to have everything. You are going to, to be lawyers. You are going to make a claim or introduce a case, and you are going to have to argue either for or against, whether you do jurisprudence or whether you are a barrister or a solicitor in the future. How do you do it? With supporting arguments, yes? That's what he's doing here in legal theory. He's going against another definition, clear. Now, another key difference here for, um, how, this is the main one again, another, there are many, but another main def definition here has to do with, remember the sovereign for Austin, here. The sovereign here, he's been obeyed, but he doesn't obey anyone else, or she doesn't obey anyone else. <coughs> that is not our parliament. That is not our parliament. When parliament makes the law, Queen in Parliament is the formula in the UK, they are also bound by the law. They are not beyond the law. Yes? So if they kill someone, they are going to be just under murder or manslaughter or whatever the, the, the criminal figure. Yes? They are not beyond. This is one of the, the many differences Hart is going to present against, um, against Austin. Related to this, this concept of sovereignty, and I write about this concept as well, sovereignty. In principle, <coughs> if we check most of the theory before Hard before uh, uh, the time, we talk about sovereignty in terms of unlimited power. 
the king, the queen. This has a, I'm not going to go there again, but this has a historical reason. Sovereign comes from ancient times. Remember when I talk about normative systems, and in ancient times we have one or many creating law, morals, and religion. So whatever was a sin according to the Bible or the Quran, would have been a criminal offense or would have been wrong, morally wrong, yes? Why? Because the sovereign was unlimited. Reality tells us now our sovereign, Queen in Parliament, has limitations. Has first of all legal limitations. Whatever law they are passing, they are bound by. So they have legal limitations. And then they have any other limitations like we all have, physical limitations, yes? So the sovereign is going to disagree with Austin has many, many, many limitations. Um, from here, what I want you to remember, um, first of all, many uh, definitions, different definitions of law. <coughs> the basic law is one normative system. It is a set of rules. We used to class this set of rules depending on whether they brought about a punishment, a sanction. If we didn't have a punishment, we didn't have law at all. And you may still consider that, you may still consider that, you may still argue that. You have to do your research to argue that. Since hard, we take this. If you have to remember only one thing of all this, like this. Yeah, this. There is more to law than punishment. There are legal rules that do not require punishment and they are still part of that normative system, the law. Uh, I put here the concept chapter five. Here you are going to have the definition and I'm going to refer to the definition. And here you have a sort of summary. That, that's why I sent you these uh, pages uh, as pictures. Because here in these pages you actually have what you need. Yeah? <coughs> and I'm going to explain this later. What is law? According to Hart. So we had Austin first, yeah? Law, a set of uh, rules created by a sovereign with punishment or with sanctions. What is law for Hart? Okay, Hart is telling me Austin was wrong. Well, now Hart has to tell me what is the correct definition, yes? That is his book. His book is very, I mean, it's very complex, but the methodology is very simple. He takes bibliography before him, he argues against, and then he brings about his own. Yeah, that's his book. It's very complex, it's very rich in terms of vocabulary, legal philosophy, and so on. But the methodology is very simple in reality. That's why I tend to say Lady Gaga, because based on what he does, he brings about different theories, he sees gaps, and he simply goes against those gaps. Am I clear? What is a law for him? Law and his textual definition is a combination of primary rules and secondary rules. That is law for him. Primary rules or the addition of primary rules and secondary rules. Now your question, which is pretty obvious. What are primary rules? What are secondary rules? We need to read hard. Primary rules for him, this is Austin. This is Kelsen. Primary rules for him are rules that have to do with behavior, with conduct, with human conduct, yes? <coughs> They are the ones we talk about, permissions, obligations, prohibitions. These are rules. So, norms or rules created by parliament, same, sovereign, in a territory, for the general people, all these elements, to all of us, and we are either permitted, prohibited, or we are obliged to do something, or not to do something, yes? So, so far, nothing new. So far, it's Austin, yes, so far, nothing. But he's adding something else here. He's adding something else. The secondary rules that we have in any legal system. They are rules referred to this kind of rules. Yes? We have rules 